Swoosh. Ciao. All right, hey everybody, it's Gameragi, and we're back with Epic Mickey. Uh, gonna just turn in this detective thingy too. Much here. And we're gonna get another power spark. All right. You are set, man. Set. And I do believe if you talk to Pete again, he will. Uh, he wants you to redeem his other version in uh, Ventureland, so we're gonna do that when we're there. But I don't believe you have to talk to him to actually accomplish that. So. Um, all right, so yeah, let's head into Ventureland. Whoop, boy! This place is—I I don't know—I like Ventureland. It's adventurey. Yeah, that's a good word. Good word, man. Good word. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe I should go up. Uh, second thought. I think I remember where this one is. You don't actually have to go up higher for this one. Whoa. Do have to dodge coconuts. There it is. It's below this log. Going here. Jungle rhythm part one. Let's go to Ventureland. Yes, I'm ready. Jeez. Come on, Gus. Come on. If these projectors were just lying down on the ground, I would just jump into them. Like, just fall on them. That's what I would do. Because it'd be so much more efficient. Pirates everywhere. And tiki mask. And thinner wheels. I would call it a water wheel, but you know. Nice panoramic units. Oh my goodness. I'm just showing everything. Mr. Smee! He doesn't seem to be too happy. One thing I want to say about this place is there are a Freak load of tickets in here. If you just spin on all these bushes and you will find so many. And there's actually a power spark back here. You can get if you're you know, low. <laughs> and there's another one over here. Okay, we just got two power sparks for doing nothing. Alright. Hey Mr. Smee. <laughs> Aren't you Smee, Captain Hook's right-hand man? Well, only hand man, I guess you'd say. I was till the captain chased us out of the jungle. There's terrible troubles there. Why? What happened? We had to escape, we did. The captain was all at us to Skull Island. I can't do this voice, I understand. It's one of the pirates just to We can't no more since our machine started turning us into monsters. And those monsters hold no loyalty to their former mates, us. So we came here and closed the way behind us. And when they couldn't find work, my crew turned to idle mischief. My crew, once so ship-shaped, now so, so lazy and dim-witted? I was gonna say unfocused. Oh, if those folk monsters invaded, we'd be no match for them. If only someone could stop them. We should get to Skull Island and see to that machine. Then Smee and his crew can go back home. Trouble is, that way is blocked. Can you help us? Ah, uh, yeah. Captain and Hook, I mean that awful machine Hook, chased us clear out of Tortuga. You'll stop him? Well, first you have to get to him, and that, and to do that, you need to fix the door opening contraption we broke. Why'd you break it? Hmm, you need a ship's wheel. Not long back, my crew sold one to Tiki Sam. And Damien Salt, the big un who's all love struck, he got the figurehead. Scurvy Pat, the sneaky eyed fella by the mast, he nabbed the compass. 
If you capture these items and bring them to me, that way I can repair the contraption. Get all the items back and you can pass through to Tortuga. Okay. So we got stuff to, stuff to do. Stuff and stuff. Alright. First thing we're gonna do is head up here. Whoa. I said first thing we're gonna do is head up here. Smoking. We got our first tiki mask. It's a four. Well, space. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this spell. You're gonna need all three tiki masks to get um to get the uh one, the ship's wheel. Yeah. So we got that one. And then the. Another one is oh my god! If I remember, oh yes I do. To go up this wheel of thinness. You want to jump on one of these? And then, whoop, oh, okay. Let's see. Watch, watch this. Twenty tickets. No, watch it. Watch my. Ten tickets. One. One. Money. So every time you come here, be sure to hit every push, and you will have way more tickets than you need. Well, that's not true. Just do it. Just do it. All right. So this guy has the figurehead. Hello, Mickey. My name is Damien Salt. Hey, you seem like a worldly sort. I don't suppose you know what a woman might want: ice cream, flowers. Flowers are hard to get here in Wasteland, but ice cream—that would be easy. I'm too shy to ask her myself, but with the night gift, with the right gift, I know I can win her over. Yes, I have a figurehead, but I can't part with it. It looks too much like my sweet Hen Henrietta. It reminds me of her, but if Henrietta were mine, I'd give you the figurehead happily. The only way to know really what she was asking, want is to ask her. She's right over there. She can be temperamental. And the wrong gift will surely earn her scorn. Jeez, picky, picky cow woman. I just love the outdoors fresh air, trees, plants. I wish there were more flowers. The scent of a flower bouquet would cover the pirate smell in the air. I also enjoy being away from that ice cream parlor in Mean Street. All the guys kept bringing me ice cream and trying to win my heart. I'll tell you a secret I'm actually lactose intolerant. I can't drink milk. But I'm a cow! Well, that must have been an interesting childhood. Okay. So, yeah. We need to do that. Get to some flowers. But first, I'm gonna go talk to Tiki Sam and get to the steering wheels. Hey, Tiki Sam. Hi, hi, how's it going? How's it hanging? Tiki Connoisseur, word has it. You've come for a ship's wheel. Hmm. Yeah, I got one from the same pirates that looted my tiki collection. The finest trio of tiki masks you'll ever, you've ever seen. Now scattered it to the wind. Round up all three masks and I'll give you the ship's wheel deal. Yeah, sure. We already got it. So yeah, hey Tiki Sam. Hey Tiki Sam. You've retrieved all my tiki masks. Thank you so much. Here's the ship's wheel you need. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have some work for us later. Well, cool. And this guy actually has a shop going. Let's see what he has. Oh, he has Mickey spill. Let's get it. And that's about it. You can shop here anytime. Yep. We'll do maybe later. At a later date. Alright, uh, one more thing I want to do in this episode. I don't know, I, I might make this a little bit longer, just like the previous one. So, I just want to get this stuff done faster, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So Smee says you need to take a compass, not so fast. I'm missing a treasure of personal sort, and I believe it's in that treehouse. Okay. So we pretty much have to go to that treehouse that I was already at. <laughs> Scurvy pets, treasure, here we come, here we come, here we come. Uh, 
Wow. Okay. Yes, I want to enter the treehouse. Jeez. There's no treasure here, just... You think Pat wants this bear? Oh, What a cute little pirate. He misses his teddy bear. I think we should just, like... I don't know. I don't know what I was gonna say. Never mind. Disregard! Yeah, my treasure, yes, I named him Stuffed Bear Treasure. You know, on account of him being so close to me chest at night. Ah, uh, get it? Chest? Oh, jeez. You can have this whole cups, thank you very much. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you! He's still holding it. Oh, and now it is a figurehead now. Okay. Um. Okay, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. I'm gonna talk to Daisy Head here. Another one, and it's Daisy. <laughs> Mickey, goodness! How did you wind up here? Oh, I'm afraid I'm not looking my best today. The Mad Doctor's beetle works were positively beastly. Don't worry, I'll look for the rest of you, Daisy. Um, where are you, if you know what I mean? My hero. Now, I don't quite recall where I was broken up. But there were a lot of pirates around. Wait, you said another one? Have you rescued Donald? There's an animatronic Donald, too? Really? I as well didn't know the real Donald. Sorry, Daisy, but we met an animatronic Goofy. Aw, oh, Goofy, hmm. Yep, sorry, Daisy. Alright, so... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna farm tickets out of these bushes, and then in the next episode, I will meet you back in Oztown so we can get some flowers for this little couple here. Alrighty, see you then.